Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. When God's servants speak forth, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18.22 God is still saying something. On Saturday, November 3rd, 2012, during a live Saturday service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied that he saw a man carrying a gun during the time of the American elections. These were his words. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing an evil man that carried a gun. In the time of election in America like this, people were going out to vote and uh, see evil man carry gun at this time, pray for this country, America. The, the evil man that have this motive to do this evil at this period of the election time. So to threaten people, please pray that God Almighty to redeem the country and uh, pray for the nation, America, prayer. Quand Dieu demande de prier pour la nation des États-Unis, car il voit un homme méchant sortir avec un fusil au temps des élections, prions pour que le Seigneur ne puisse pas permettre que cela puisse se passer. Un homme méchant avec, un, avec une arme tirée partout durant le temps des élections aux États-Unis. Prions pour cette nation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing this evil man carry gun where people are just is a threat to the whole thing. Good morning again. I'm Zara Arboleta. We're monitoring breaking news here at CBS 47. Several people shot at a central Fresno company. It happened about an hour and a half ago. This is video just into our newsroom. This took place in an area not far from Hedges Avenue near Olive and Blackstone. We are waiting for our Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer to address the media. Let's go to a live picture right now. He is walking up to the podium. Let's listen in as he briefs reporters on what's happening right now in central Fresno. I want to uh, thank everybody for coming out there this, this morning as we uh, talk about a, a tragedy that occurred in the city of Fresno. At about 8.27 uh, this morning, our department received multiple 911 calls from employees of the Apple Valley Farms meat processing plant. Uh, the information we received initially that there was a lone gunman inside of the business and had uh, shot several people. <clears throat> Prior to our officers uh, arriving, we had received additional information that the suspect involved in this case had walked outside of the business uh, and had shot himself. Uh, officers arrived uh, shortly thereafter, uh, located what we felt to be the suspect at that time, lying on the sidewalk on hedges, and uh, had a handgun lying next to him, appeared to have a gunshot wound to the head, and uh, but was still alive at that point. The um, Officers also located a 32-year-old female that was outside of the business and had suffered a gunshot wound to the lower back area uh, near the buttocks, uh, appeared to be in, um, in good condition at that time, uh, but was in fact shot in the lower back. The um, inside of the business, officers found a 34-year-old uh, male employee who had received a gunshot wound to the what appeared to be the head area. That employee uh, is in critical condition and uh, was transported to uh, our trauma center here in Fresno. Also inside of the business was a 28-year-old uh, male employee who had uh, received a gunshot wound to the neck. Uh, that individual is also in critical condition and was transported to the trauma center. Uh, a third victim was found inside of the business, a 32-year-old male employee, uh, also received what appeared to be a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, that individual was pronounced deceased inside of the business. Mass shooting election day. Two dead, eight injured in California. November 6, 2012. 
and we continue to follow late breaking news now. We are getting early reports of a shooting at a business in central Fresno. The shooting happened near Apple Valley Farms on Blackstone and Hedges. Action News has learned there may be several shooting victims. We do have a crew on the scene right now. Mariana Jacob has been following this. We'll get to her in just a second. Right now, let's go to traffic uh, reporter Gabby Rodriguez with the closures right now and what we can expect for folks out there trying to make their way through that area. Gabby. Jason and Christine, as you folks mentioned, we do have closures to talk about. This scene is still unfolding, but I got off the phone with traffic control with the Fresno Police Department, and they have told me to advise you folks to stay away from Blackstone, just north of Olive, all the way up to McKinley. Abbey also will be closed. Now, the location of the shooting is on Hedges and Blackstone. Keep that in mind. Avoid this area, folks. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Gabby, thank you. And we are just hearing reports that at least two people have been confirmed dead. Let's go right to Mariana Jacob. She is live at the business location in front of Apple Valley Farms. Mariana, what do you know so far? Christine, we arrived here at Blackstone and Hammond, which is as close as they will allow us to go because they put up a lot of yellow tape, at least brought, blocked off one or two blocks here on Blackstone, all the way to Hedges from here to Hammond. Around the block, we can see there's at least 10 police cars. There are a bunch of uh, motorcycles here, and there has also been a helicopter flying overhead. We've got confirmation that Chief Jerry Dyer is here at the scene. We also received confirmation from a spokesperson from the Fresno Police Department that two people were killed, at least one of them was the suspect, but do avoid this area between Blackstone and Hedges if you can, because traffic has been shut down in most directions. Back to you, Christine. That's the latest from here. Okay, Maria, thank you. Mariana, thank you so much. As she just mentioned, two people confirmed dead there at Apple Valley Farms. And, of course, we are expecting Police Chief Jerry Dyer to give us a live update. When that happens, we will go back to Mariana.